Yo, what the deal? This your man Frank Dutch right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today I want to show y'all this little trick how to make y'all drum sound super warm and super full and super thick. You understand what I'm saying? Like them wintertime cozy drums, thick, hard hitting. I'm going to show y'all how to make y'all drum sound good. So look, before we get into it, though, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? This video is going to be a banger right here, man. Let's get into it, yo. So look, we got this drum track right here. And I got the plug-in bypassed, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to just switch it on without doing anything. Watch this. Check it out. Now, already you can kind of tell that it's, 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 it's full and, and thick already. So hold on. And let me show y'all the routing, too. Let me show y'all how I did this, too. You know, um, first, let me, first. This is what I did. I got the drums running through a aux channel, like an aux bus, basically. I'm sending the outputs from all of the uh, the drum channels to the aux signal that's running this uh, tape machine right here, this tape plug-in. But see, the thing is, the idea is to, like, I'm, I'm taking all of the drums and I'm recording them to tape in a sense you know what i'm saying this is uh like sort of that idea you know you know what i mean but it's really running through the plugins processor which is pretty much doing that when you got it on this uh reproduction uh option right here um it's reproducing the sound of tape you know what i'm saying so it's running through that aux uh, i got the bus one and two sending it over there it's going into the inputs and the outputs are my mains basically so without any tweaking of any of these knobs, this is how it sounds. Here I go without it. You hear what happened with the kick? All right, now watch this. I am going to put it on uh, this 900 reel or you know tape and I'm gonna speed up the inches per second and y'all gonna see what's gonna happen you hear how much fuller that got that's without it that's bypass I can push it a little harder. Man, listen to that difference. I'm tripping off what it's doing to the kick, you know what I mean? So yeah, that if you if you do that along with the rest of the EQing and the leveling that you're gonna be doing, I'm telling you, man, your joints your drums is gonna sound crazy. And you can use this uh, method to make sample packs and stuff like that or drum, you know, samples and stuff like that. Make hard-hitting drum samples and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And give it that real-life tape processing feel, that vibe. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's your man Frank Dutch right here, man. I hope this video helped y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Y'all be cool how y'all be cool, man. Peace.